Can you see that? I'm angry. comes in and takes 
an X amount of your income every two weeks or every week. Right? You're working half the year for Uncle Sam? Right. You heard that? You know, maybe 24% of your income goes to the federal government. Okay, so let's say you make $200 a week and they take out maybe $48, $50 in taxes. So that leaves you with 150. So that's the government. The government gets that money already. Federal tax. Okay, then you go to go buy uh, fast food or you go buy uh, an, a new equipment for your car or a new car stereo or whatever merchandise, you pay a sales tax. So that's more money that the government gets. You go fill up a tank of gas for your car, notice next time when you are filling the tank that you're paying the government a tax on the gas that you're using from the money that the government already took in the first place. So you would think that all the taxes that the U.S. government takes from our luxury item, merchandise, our, our services, plus, plus they take out money for my paycheck every week, every two weeks. And yet we're still in debt. And you would think that the U.S. government will be able to reroute the money into better, better purposes and better agency. It can piss me off because uh, I, I have to pay the federal government money. Fucking motherfucker. You wanna I have a piercing hate for those people. They tax everything and you and you end up spending less money than you think than you're really earning. So that might take on taxes. So you as government, you fucking you guys are slick. You guys suck up all all our money. The poor get poor and the richer get richer, you fucking son of a bitches. Alright, you're right. Uh, Clinton is out. She's no more. No more President Clinton. It's ex-president Bill Clinton. And believe it or not, he had a, a, a truck go to the uh, White House and take out gifts. Like several thousand, several hundred thousand dollars worth of gifts. So that's kind of crooked. You would think that that the White House, whatever's in there, unless they will pay back, which I'm sure. So that proves my point that they're all a bunch of crooked, lying assholes. And that's about it for Clinton because uh, he's now living in New York with Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is now a senator, as if she really cares about New York. Alrighty, alrighty. And one more note, enough about Robert Downey Jr. I was at the supermarket and I see his fucking ugly ass face on the fucking cover of the fucking magazine, Addiction. Fuck that motherfucker. And remember a few weeks ago when you reported on Celebrity Survivor? Did you see the tabloid that said that it was going to happen? What? And it said it was going to be a Howard Stern, Regis, the people you predicted. If I, you I should go buy, I'll buy the thing if I see it. Because you'll freak out. You heard that first on Call Me Crazy. Uh, what, what happened last year is uh, I made a, a little episode where, uh, where uh, I made my own survivor cast, celebrity cast, and it would be basically everybody living on the same island. It would be like David Letterman, Regis Philbin, Rosie O'Donnell, Gary Shandlin, and let's see who really wins. And I forgot who else I put on that island. Okay, but back to uh, Downey Jr. Enough is enough. If he goes to prison, so what? He's a dumb fucking motherfucker. He's rich and you get don't get caught. That's all I gotta say. Okay, okay. Uh, all right. On the weird side in Texas, a 19 year old cook put marijuana in a taquito at a water burger, and and the fucking cop, the officer noticed that there was weed in the taquito and he didn't eat it, and he arrested the cook on site, and that happened in Texas at a water burger. So folks, it happens all the time. Mm. 
Jason Newstead has left Metallica. I know all you people like Metallica. I first saw Metallica back in 86. The real Metallica with Cliff Burton. As far as I'm concerned, that was the real Metallica. But I feel bad for Jason Newstead because uh, he's basically a loner type guy now. Britney Spears, the new Pepsi Girl ad, spokesperson. I like her. Me too. Uh, <laughs> Eminem is going to be hopefully playing live at the Grammys Award coming up in March. We'll find out about that, but I'm pretty sure that will be confirmed. And Spider-Man will be coming out. For all you people out there in La La Land who like Spider-Man and collect Spider-Man and live with Spider-Man, the new movie by Sam Raimi will be out next year, Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas and Spider-Man. And at the Green Goblin, William Defoe, uh, he's most famous for playing Jesus in The Last Temptation of Christ. It should be a good movie. Planet of the Apes is coming up. That's going to be very interesting because uh, Michael Duncan Clark is in that. I heard Tim Roth is in that, directed by Tim Burton. X-Files, I don't know what's going on with X-Files. They keep on talking about working older, but they never tap into the story. And, and one thing first, what's up with the lone gunman? Is it like Get Smart? For all you people out there, La La Land, remember Get Smart? Yeah. Remember Get Smart? The phone. The phone. Okay, okay, and I'm moving to a new time slot come Friday. March, Friday, March, midnight, and Wednesday, midnight. So that's my new time slot coming up in March. So we only got a couple weeks to go. And uh, I do want to say, President Bush can suck my fucking dick because you know what it is? He gets the, a spokesperson for all the rich CEOs who control all the corporate companies. They don't have to pay no taxes because they find loopholes. And then on top of that, they get subsidies from the government. What subsidies are is that if the government gives you money, basically money, and they're getting that on top of all the free money they get as, as, as gifts. So they can all rot in hell, and I, all, I hope they all rot on a fucking chicken boat. And that's it for the uh, Call Me Crazy show. I'm sorry it's such a hasty one, but I'm showing the Lost Boys, Dorian Kiefer Sutherland, uh, Jason Patrick, Corey Haim, or, or, River and Edge with Keanu Reeves. This might be his best film ever. What it is is about a bunch of high school kids hanging around one day at a high school where one of them says, hey, uh, I, raped, I raped my girlfriend, I killed her, you wanna go see her? And what they do, they find her body by the edge of the river. And it's, apparently she was raped. Very eerie, haunting movie, maybe it will be this movie, or Lost Boy. The classic. Two of my favorites. Okay, people, until then, I will come back with a bigger bang. Best of Call Me Crazy coming up. And thank you, Tucson, Arizona, for staying in tune with the Call Me Crazy show. And I like to thank Public Access. And I would like to thank you, the viewer. Because this show would not be possible without you, the viewer. I, I'm very sorry, like I said, I'm hasty. But I gotta run. Later.